Good morning and welcome to uh, Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Amanda, I'm part of the Mission team here at Supplinus. If you know me, hello. If you're new, uh, a warm welcome to you this morning. We will be following the Celtic Daily Prayer. If you like the words for these prayers, they're on our Supplinus website, supplinus.co.uk. Uh, don't worry, I'll be reading those for you. We'll be having these words, we'll also be having our readings for this day, which are Psalm 104, um, verses 10 to 30, uh, Ecclesiastes um, chapter 3, verses 1 to 14, and Luke chapter 7, verses 31 to 35. But again, I'll be having, uh, I'll be reading those, so you don't need those. If you're very welcome to go and find those now. So if we still ourselves as we come before God in prayer, so let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. One thing I have asked the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? You seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him all your heart? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with your soul? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen, Lord have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen, Christ have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. We now come to our first reading, Psalm 104. Chapter uh, verses uh, 10 to 30. You may springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills, giving drink to every wild animal. The wild asses quench their thirst. By the streams, the birds of the air have their habitation. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode, you water the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use, to bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the human heart, oil to make the face shine and bread to strengthen the human heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has its home in the fir trees, the high mountains are for the wild goats. The rocks are a refuge for the conies. You have made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows its time for setting. You make darkness and it is night. When all the animals of the forest come creeping out, the young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they withdraw and lie down in their dens. People go out to their work and to their labour until the evening. O oh Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide creeping things innumerable are there living things both small and great they go there go the ships and Leviathan that you formed to sport in it these all look to you to give them their food in due season when you give their, when you give to them they gather it up when you open your hand as filled with they are filled with good things when you hide your face they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. Our next reading is Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Verse 1 to 14.
For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy, to be busy with. He has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift that all should eat and drink and take pleasure in all their toil. I know that whatever God does endures forever. Nothing can be added to it, nor anything taken away from it. God has done this, so that all should stand in awe before him. And our final reading from Luke 7, 31 to 35. To what then will I compare the people of this generation? And what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We waited and you did not weep. We wailed and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine and you say he has a demon. The son of man has come eating and drinking. And you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. Our reading from Daily Celtic Prayer this day. Once Abbot Antony was conversing with some brethren, and a hunter who was after game in the wilderness came upon them. He saw Abbot Antony and the brothers enjoying themselves and disapproved. Antony Abbot said, Put an arrow in your bow and shoot it. This he did. Now shoot another, said the elder, and another, and another. Then the hunter said, If I bend my bow all the time, it will break. Abbot Antony replied, so it is with the work of God. We push ourselves beyond measure. The brethren will soon collapse. It is right, therefore, from time to time to relax. We have our meditation for this day. Whoever believes in the power of the blood of Jesus, nothing is impossible. The Lord shall surely perfect that thing, that thing which concerneth thee. To whoever believes in the power of the blood of the crucified Lamb, nothing shall be called impossible. Blessed be the Lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world. We now come to our time of morning prayer where we pray for others. So let us pray. Almighty Father, we were baptised into the death of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, that he was raised from the dead by your glory. We too might live your new life. Fulfill our hope as we pray. Lord, make haste to help us. Help all mankind to turn from sin and follow the path of him who died for us. Lord, we pray for peace throughout your world and particularly raise up Russia 
and Ukraine at this time and all those places where there is conflict. Please place peace into the hearts of men and women. Lord, make haste to help us. Redeem our national life so that we cease to promote hatred, dishonesty and violence. Lord, we give thanks for all the celebrations over this long weekend for our Queen. Pray for those who showed that unity. Pray for that unity to be visible throughout our country and throughout the world. Lord, make haste to help us. Enlighten us to discern the danger within us and let it not rule us. Lord, put your peace, which is beyond our understanding, into all of our hearts, that we may truly follow you. Lord, make haste to help us. Nurture in us and willing to forgive others according to the measure of your own abundant mercy. Lord, make haste to help us. Give us patience to work unceasingly for the coming of your kingdom. And Lord, we lift up all those who suffer this day in mind, body and spirit. May they know your healing and wholeness. And may we pray for those who serve and care. Strengthen them, Lord, so that we may see your kingdom on earth. Lord, make haste to help us. Grant unending life to the faithful departed, remembering all those who have died recently and those whose anniversaries fall at this time. Pray for those who are at rest with you. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. O Lord, from whom all good things come, Grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things which are good and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We now complete our prayers with our canticle for today. Christ, the light, illumine and guide me. Christ, the shield, overshadow me. Christ, under me. Christ, over me. Christ, beside me, on my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek is all powerful, be in the heart of each to whom I meet, in the mouth of each who speak unto me. In the mouth, this day be within and without me, lowly and meek yet all powerful. Christ is a light, Christ is sure, Christ beside me on my left and my right. And may the peace of Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go well this week, and God bless you in all you do. Amen.